Did you ever want to play your ukulele with a friend? Well then COVID hit and play along came quickly to an end. So we virtualized and put the chords and lyrics all online. So join us every Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. So join us every Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Wednesday, our Wednesday play along. Um, I'm just reading the comments while the music is playing and uh, just seeing all the different places people are from. The funniest, uh, well, I don't know, Snohomish, that's kind of funny. But I think Wetumpka um, gets the, uh, the award for unusual city name um, tonight. And I know that's been before, Watumka. Anyway, uh, enough of that. Um, so welcome. Um, if you're here for the first time, sorry, I just hit the microphone. Um, if you're here for the first time, uh, really welcome. Um, glad you found us somehow. Um, Facebook invite or a friend or something. Um, but what we do here on Wednesdays is we, we chat in the comments and uh, make friends across the country, different parts of the world even. Uh, we play songs. Um, we've got 10 songs tonight, so we're going to do those. And we also have a little uh, kind of a surprise thing. Uh, we have a, a mini tutorial from someone you will recognize. And we'll play that sometime. Um, sometime tonight. And uh, we're also going to talk about next week, because next week's going to be a very cool week uh, on the show. So, um, But we are. We're glad you're here. You are here. Uh, we really do. We have all over the place, coast to coast and top to bottom of the country and Canada and uh, and other parts. So we're glad you're here. Um, <clears throat> I think that's it. Collab special play along. We're just going to get right to some songs. So if again, if you have not been here, I'll try to make this quick because those who have been here uh, before, they're like, Greg, get on with it. We already know that the, the chords and lyrics um, <laughs> scroll. So I won't spend much time. But this is what it looks like. Um, and when we start playing, um, this will scroll and, uh, you know, you don't have to have a song sheet. It'll do that. Um, if you see green, that means play the chords only. You don't, not really intended to sing there. And if you see little down arrows, um, somewhere in the song, um, it just means a single down stroke. And that's about it. Um, we've got s songs of varying degrees of complexity. So... If something seems too easy, just wait a minute and something more difficult will show up. If something seems a little too hard, just wait a minute and something easier will show up. Um, try to put just different stuff in here um, in terms of challenging um, everybody. All right. So the way you look tonight, in parentheses, the easy. If you look this up online, you'll see... Um, that the actual version is a lot more complex, so I kind of simplified this. Um, it works pretty well. Weldon and Nancy. Hello, folks. Hey, Patty. All right. Wendy from... Wendy is from Rainy, New Zealand. Um, that's a long way, and it's tomorrow there. So... Happy Thursday. And Robin, Robin. Hey. All right. So um, back to this. Um, uh, most of these you will recognize. If you look at uh, B minor 7, you're just going to bar that second. Hey, and there's Clark Holmes. Um, if, if you don't recognize that name, Clark Holmes, he is one third of the Bird Watchers. Um, they were on a few weeks ago. So, hey, Clark. Um... Glad you're here. Clark's awesome. If you don't know Clark's playing and are not, aren't familiar, uh, you will be. Um, we, uh, we'll, we'll talk about that in, in just a little bit and we'll talk a little bit more about Clark. But yeah, cool player. Cool guy playing, but also plays cool. Um, yeah. All right, so here we go. The way you look tonight. Um, but yeah, that B minor 7. Um, everything else you're probably somewhat, you might be somewhat familiar with. Most of the other ones are fairly common. All right, so this goes sort of like... 
Oh, and let's talk about G and E minor 7. Again, I, I mentioned these things because some people might be newer and some people might not know. If you, but if you make a G, if you make a G on the ukulele, and then just lift your ring finger, um, that's an E minor 7. So if you look at this uh, chord progression in the song, we go from someday, um, G to E minor 7. You don't have to rework your whole hand. All you have to do is just lift your ring finger. Hey, Billy. <laughs> Billy's in uh, Europe. He's on the, uh, across the pond. So yeah, it's late there. Well, we're glad you're awake. All right. So uh, that's about it. Enough talking. Uh, let's roll. And it'll go sort of like this. Right? So about that speed. Don't worry, we'll start over and we'll sing. Here we go, everybody. All right, one, a two, a one, two, three, four. All right, we're gonna do that one more time. I was going to do a musical intro, but I think we're just going to start with the, uh, we'll just start straight into singing. So here we go. Someday, when I'm awfully low, and the world is cold, I will feel a glow just thinking of you. Yes, you're lovely with your smile so warm and your cheeks so soft. There is nothing for me but to love you and the way you look tonight. Lovely, never ever change Keep that breathless charm Won't you please arrange it Cause I love you And the way you look tonight Instrumental first song of the night we are 10 percent done with the wednesday show um and you can see these are the other songs we're going to do um had never done this one before we had an actual live get together in orlando at the winter park library um last saturday and uh dick wilson who helps with the this show and promotes this he's he's awesome um he uh 
sent me this and said, hey, can we do this one? So we did this on Saturday. So if you were there on Saturday, sorry that we're duplicating this, but it's kind of fun. So we're going to do it here tonight. And it's this, If I Only Had a Brain, which is what the Scarecrow sings, right? In Wizard of Oz. <clears throat> so, look at the chords. Nope, I think you probably know all this. Nothing, nothing too unusual. Um, and this, I'm just going to do a, just a regular down, down, up, up, down, up, island strum. Um, and not chug. I could, we're not going to start, but I want to show you just the tempo and the strum. I could while away the hours, conferring with the flowers, consulting with the rain. So about that speed. Donna, if your chat scroll froze, I think that's just Facebook. Either just refresh your browser. I hate to say leave and come back in because that's so drastic. We don't want you to leave. Uh, but I, I don't think others are having that problem. All right, so are we ready? Let's do this. I could... While away the hours, conferring with the flowers, consulting with the rain. And my head, and I'd be scratching, while my thoughts were busy hatching, if I only had a brain. I'd unravel any riddle, for any individual, in trouble or in pain. With the thoughts I'd be thinking I could be another Lincoln If I only had a brain Oh, I could tell you why The ocean's near the shore I could think of things I'd never thought before And then I'd sit and think some more I would not be just a nothing my head all full of stuffing, my heart all full of pain. I would dance and be merry, life would be a ding a dairy if I only had a brain. Alright, so it's a quick one. <laughs> it's, I think that's like a minute and 30 second song, so. Alright, kind of fun. I teach you ukulele to kids, you know? Oh, Donna, welcome back. <clears throat> yeah, and if somebody asked about the lyrics, I believe there was a response. Terry, thank you. Um, on Song is just the app that does all this stuff. Um, so, all right, and if you are new, we do this. And don't worry, I'm going to take, take this away. Um... But uh, every week we do a couple songs where we do a drum machine. And we're just going to play along with the drum machine. So I'm gonna, I need to put some headphones in so I can hear the drum machine. And then it sounds a little like this. And we just find that beat and just play. We're not starting. Just hitting the down strum on that beat. I think most of you have been here and most of you are familiar with that, but if you're new, just wanted to explain that real quick. All right, so wagon wheel. Um, some people hate this, hate wagon wheel. <laughs> and some people love wagon wheel. I am, uh, I am neutral. I have no feelings whatsoever for wagon wheel. I don't love it, I don't hate it, um, but we're gonna play it, so. If you love it, here it is. If you hate it, uh, in three minutes, we'll do something else. All right. Are you ready? A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Way in the North Carolina, 
Staring up the road, pray to God I see headlights I made it down the coast in 17 hours Picking me a bouquet of a dog with flowers And open for Raleigh, I see my baby tonight So rock me mama like a wagon wheel Rock me mama any way you feel Hey, mama rock me Rock me, mama, like a wind in the rain. Rock me, mama, like a southbound dream. Hey, mama, rock me. Running from the cold up in New England, I was born to be. I played the banjo now I'm laughing, I'll tell you in a minute The North Country winter's deep I'm getting me now I lost my money playing poker So I had to leave town But I ain't a turning back to Living that old life no more So rock me mama like a wagon wheel Rock me mama any way you feel Hey, mama rock me Rock me, mama, like a lockdown train and rock. No, there we go. You know what? Let's just do that chorus over. I, I'm still thinking about why I was laughing. I'll tell you that in a minute. It's a, uh, it's funny to me. So here we go. So rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. Rock me, mama, any way you feel. Hey, mama, rock me. Rock me, mama, like a wind in the rain. Rock me, mama, like a southbound train. Hey, mama, rock me. that talks about being a fiddler in an old-time string band. And there was a time a few months back, for some reason, for some reason, in my head, even though it said fiddler, I sang, I was born to be a prisoner in an old-time string band. I have no idea why. There's no explanation for that. <clears throat> and then, like, two months later, I did the exact same thing again. <laughs> <laughs> and seriously, there's absolutely no explanation for that. Um, I've never heard someone else sing the song with that, uh, uh, with Prisoner, and uh, I don't understand it. So there you go. That's why I was laughing. Sorry to, sorry to disrupt the middle of that song. Okay, 
we have done this before. This isn't really a tutorial for this song, but I want to talk. I mean, you can strum a lot of different ways to, to songs. So this is not like the strum for this song. And I don't even know where I got this. Sometimes if I play a song, it just seems like something fits just because the way you know the song in your head. Um, so I'm not sure if this came from someone else or if this came from me. I really don't remember. But we're going to come back for this. <clears throat> but if you look at the very top, it says the name, Coldplay, and then it says strum. It's got a bunch of D's and U's with chords above them. So <clears throat> what we're going to do, we're going to go through this slow. There's just this first part because the strum is almost the entire uh, is, is almost the same the entire way through, okay? So we're going to go sort of slow on this and just... So that's just the down, 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 up, down. On the F chord. And then we go to the G chord. And just do the... Then we go back to, uh, we go to C. So just down, 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 up, down. And then the A minor. This is actually hard to do because <clears throat> I know the sound of it and it's faster. So it's actually a little harder to do slow. And then the A minor. So if you look at the F, <clears throat> Excuse me. If you look at F and C, right, that's the same down, 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 up, down. And then the G is the same, and A minor are the same. Yeah, so they are. So if you're really doing like just two things, you're just repeating those same two things. All right, so we're going to do this a little faster. Um, and then we'll do it at about the normal speed, and then we'll just do the song. And you can come back and watch this. These are recorded on Facebook and put on YouTube, so you can always come back. But now a little faster. Again. Well, thanks, Patty. That's nice of you. All right. Now the final one. We're just going to go almost normal speed. <clears throat> Same strum. Um, so here we go. So if that seems like crazy difficult, um, try it, you know, outside, you know, later um, and try it slower. I don't need these. Why do I have still have headphones? In? Just try that a little slower and get it down slow. I think that's always, you know, best advice. Many people will say that, that it's good to don't expect that you're going to come right out of the gate strumming at full speed with a brand new strum. Um, it just takes a while for, for my brain anyway to kind of get my brain wrapped around it. Um, and then once I do that, I speed up a little more and then, then I'm to a, a respectable speed. So give that a shot. And we're going to go right into this song now. So this was a hit. I don't know. It's been a while. It's been a lot of years. Was this a 90s song or was this in 2000 something? All right. Uh, here we go. <clears throat> One, two, one, two, three, four. I used to rule the day 
eyes Feel the fear in my enemies I listen as the crowd sing Now the old king is dead Long live the king One minute I held the key Next the walls were closed on me And I discovered that my castle stand Upon the pillars of salt Sword and my shield and my missionaries in the foreign field. For some reason I can't explain. Once you go, never and never and on this word is when I rule the world. It was a wicked and wild wind Blew the doors to let me in Shattered windows and the sound of drums People couldn't believe what I'd become Revolutionaries wait With a head on a silver plate Just a puppet on a lonely string oh, Who would ever want to be king? I hear Jerusalem sword and shield and my missionaries in the foreign field. For some reason I can't explain. I know St. Peter will call my name. Never an honest word. That's when I rule the world. Big finish, same four chord progression. All right. That one might need a little work. <laughs> Uh, if again, if you're new, um, we try to have different songs. Um, some are repeats from things before, but we try to have different songs, and uh, some of them turn out a little better than, better than others. <laughs> All right. Okay. So a few weeks ago, let me uh, let me get this ready here. All right. So a few weeks ago, um, we had the bird watchers on. <clears throat> If you're not familiar with the Bird Watchers, uh, they used to be called the Naked Waiters, <clears throat> and it's a trio, and it's awesome. I mean, their sound is just a really, really cool sound. And uh, Clark Holmes is one of the members of the Bird Watchers. So, Clark, uh, I'm going to switch over to this in just a moment. Um, Clark is uh, done has done a uh, a little mini tutorial on alternate chords. So we're going to do that. And then there's some news at the end of that that we'll talk about. So let me switch over to Clark. One second. Let me get a headphone in. Um, let me switch over to Clark and uh, um, rest your fingers and absorb um, the, uh, the great little tutorial um, that Clark has for you. So here you go. What's up, strummers? It's Clark from the Bird Watchers, formerly the Naked Waiters. Going to do a quick lesson today on alternate chord shapes. I'm sure you all know your, your plain open chord shapes for A through G. Um, but I've noticed that a lot of people aren't familiar with their alternate chord shapes, and 
having traveled and jammed with lots of people in different groups, it seems that um, this is one of the things that goes kind of unnoticed. And for me, this was uh, the biggest thing that I learned to get myself jumping from um, one certain skill level to the next. When I found this out, I started to really uh, branch out and do other things. And uh, it just helps when you're playing in a group setting, too, to not be playing the same thing as the guy next to you. You want to be, you know, adding adding something as opposed to just doing the same thing as who's next to you. Um, especially in the trio that I'm in, that's that's a really important thing. We try to never be playing the exact same chords, at least in the exact same shape. So, I'm sure you're all familiar with uh, with your regular scale of, of notes. Um, it's just how it is. There's no B sharp or C flat or E sharp or F flat. It's just the way music works. So those two spots are the only spots where there's no sharps or flats in between. Um, so basically, once you understand that, um, you can take any chord shape, any of your plain chord shapes, like you've got your A chord, and you can just move it up. So instead of two one zero zero, it's three two one one. And this bar finger is acting as the nut of your uke, the, the bridge, or the, I think this is called the nut up here. I apologize, but uh, this is your open. You can basically change the the uh, pitch that you'd like to play your note. So you go A, B flat, B, C. You go B to C because there's no flat or sharp there. Remember that. So this is your C chord. If you're if you're uh, usually used to playing it this way, really give it a shot trying to do this. Sometimes it'll sound not as cool to you, but in a group, I I think it sounds much better. And it is really great training for your fingers. You can do it this way, or you can bar it all the way. That's the way I normally do it, just naturally. But then you can take that C, D flat, D. Now you're playing D. And you can just switch like that. And uh, the, the really cool thing about all of this is um, when you start to do alternates, you can you can mute your strings and, and give yourself special cool rhythm. So normally when you're playing open strings, you're usually just doing open strums, kind of like this. But if you're to use your alternate C shape, you can just... I don't know if you can see that well. But you just want to release your fingers. Just so that it stops to make noise. So like, you play your C and like release... But don't release all the way, because then it will still make a noise. So, just push down and let go. And so that way, instead of doing this, you can kind of work on upping your, your rhythm skills with your right hand, and even your fret skills with your left hand, and go... And that doesn't even require chunking with your right hand, so if you're not familiar with chunking, Yet yeah, this is a this is a good way to start. It's don't be too afraid of this. Um, it's it's just as simple as this. Just raising your fingers up, but you really you want to be touching the string still. You don't want to come off the string. Um, so yeah, that's a that's a whole game changer when it comes to playing rhythm and chords. Um, you got your C here, D flat, D, B e flat, E. I know some people have a hard time playing D or E because of the shape. Sometimes it's easier to bar it. And it's like you're playing C, but you're playing it up here. It's like C, but your ukulele is just slid up a little bit. So it's a it's a really cool technique. And uh, you can go as high as you want, you know? So you got C, D flat, D, E flat, E, F, G flat, G. And you can, you can find, there's basically three places that you can play every chord. You can play A, here, here, or here. So you can use the A shape to make the A. You can use, this is kind of like a G shape or an F shape to also make an A but at a different spot. And then you can use a D shape or a C shape to make the A up here. And once you can get familiar with all the different 
places to play each chord. It's a lot of fun. You can change up a, a specific section of a song by playing it loud and open or playing it quiet and even... with lots of rhythm. So it's, uh, it's really fun. And if, you, if it's something that you're uh, interested in trying, I think this is a, a great technique. It has taught me many things. It has uh, done more for me than I thought it would when I was learning these things. So uh, try to apply it when you can and, uh, you know, get that rhythm going. Good luck. And before I totally go, I wanted to remind you all that I will be joining you on Ukulele Gent July 7th. We're going to learn a Hawaiian ukulele song and apply these alternate tunings and even learn a new technique. I'll be there for a little bit longer, so hope to see you then. Peace. All right, Clark Holmes, everybody. <clears throat> so, July 7th. And if you heard, I mean, that was just a tiny, tiny sampling. I got for the cool sound. Um, so he's going to be doing more of that um, when he joins us um, for a, a much longer um, lesson. Um, so anyway, Clark, thanks for doing that. Clark was in the comments um, when we first started. Um, so he was here just a little while ago. So thank you, Clark, for doing that. And... If that's a lot to absorb, I mean, it's moving around pretty fast, right? So watch it again, because it really starts to make sense. When, if you know a B flat, I mean, kind of what he's doing, and I'm not going to really spend much time on this, but if you make B flat the way many people make B flat, some people bar the entire first fret, so it's, uh, you know, that. Or, same thing as this, right? So B flat. So that is called a movable chord. And, he, and Clark showed this. So that's B flat. When you move it up one fret, that makes it a B. So that exact same shape is a B. When you move it up one more fret, that's a C. It's a different C, right? Then, but it's still a C. Then one more C sharp. Then it's D. And you just keep... I mean, you can just keep going. With that, it one shape. So that's really what he's doing. Um, so look up, if you're searching for that, you can look up. Oh, you probably want to see my head now. Maybe you don't. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. And uh, Deidre. So anyway, that's, that's what he was doing. And those movable shapes, once you start thinking about how they work, and once you understand like that B flat goes to B, B goes straight to C. Once you understand that, the movable chord becomes a very powerful thing. So one question in the comments was, I can't ever remember to use those things. I, I totally agree with you. What I would do is just pick a simple song with a, you know, a couple chord, three chord song, three little birds, and then just force yourself, find alternate chords for the C. <clears throat> so instead of playing that C, play that C instead. Just force yourself to do it. Um, and then the other chords as well. Just find the alternate and uh, that will, and then make yourself play it. Just play the whole song through with that. I think it'll start to be a little easier. And Deidre on the last song, she said she couldn't play it and sing it at the same time. The Coldplay song. Um, Deidre, I don't think I played it and sang it at the same time, so uh, that makes two of us. All right, let's go back to some uh, lyrics here. <clears throat> I'm going to do Fire and Rain. Okay, so if you wanted a slower song, here you go. And this is mostly chords you know. Um, I think most of these pretty, pretty standard, pretty common um, chords. And I want to mention one part in the chorus. Sometimes it's hard <clears throat> notating with this kind of um, system where it's just a chord above a word. There's no measures in here. There's no beats in here. You don't really get a feel for how long each chord is played or, or how to strum in there. But if... Um, if you talk about, uh, da, 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 I've seen da, 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 that I thought would never end. So that second line, <coughs> I've seen sunny days that I thought would never, never end. 
So I'm not doing a full strum on that D. Um, and I'm just going to do that. I've seen sunny D that I thought would never. So I'm doing two down on A minor and two down on D. <coughs> Sorry, folks. <coughs> Sorry, I keep clearing my throat. It's terribly rude. But there we go. So I've seen sunny days that I thought would never end. I've seen lonely times when I could not find a friend. But I always thought that I'd see you again. So just be aware of that. <clears throat> if you try to do like a full strum, island strum, or a full rock strum in that uh, section, it just won't work. I should have ran downstairs <clears throat> and gotten a glass of water <laughs> during uh, Clark's tutorial. All right, we'll try to get through this with my crazy voice right now. All right, here we go. Let me scroll comments up. All right, are you ready? One, two, one, two, three, four. Yesterday morning, they let me know you were gone. Susan, the plans they made put an end to you. I walked out this morning and I wrote down this song. Can't remember who to send it to. I seen fire and I seen rain I seen sunny days that I thought would never end I seen lonely times when I could not find a friend But I always thought that I'd see you again won't you look down upon me, Jesus? You gotta help me make a stand. Just got to see me through another day. My body's aching and my time is at hand. And I won't make it any other way. I seen fire and I seen rain I seen sunny days that I thought would never end I seen lonely times when I could not find a friend But I always thought that I'd see you again been walking my mind to an easy time My back turns towards the sun Lord knows when the cold wind blows It'll turn your head around Well, there's hours of time on the telephone line To talk about things to come Sweet dreams and flying machines in I seen fire and I seen rain I seen sunny days that I thought would never end I seen lonely times when I could not find a friend But I always thought that I'd see you again I seen 
fire I seen rain I seen sunny days that I thought would never end I seen lonely times when I could not find a friend But I always thought that I'd see you again <coughs> Ah! Yes, honey. You know, I did that. I had honey right before this all started. So, we'll just keep going. Um, <clears throat> there was a promotion that had this in it. The next song. Um, th there's good news and bad news with this song. The good news is it's a two chord song. Right? That's great. The bad news is it's got B flat. So you're going to, if you hate B flat, this is going to be good B flat practice. Now, could you play this song in another key? Yes, you certainly could. Um, but this song has a very low and a very high portion. And uh, this is the one key um, that sort of I was able to conquer that range in the song. So that's why we're doing this in in F and B flat. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. Uh, but B flat's not bad. But it, it like we talked before, and like Clark, Clark mentioned, um, there it, B flat is one of those closed chords. So the more you play it, the better you get. And by the end of the song, you'll you'll have played it enough where you probably uh, gain some B flat skills. So we're not going to start yet, but just to give you an idea. Um, to give you an idea of the, I was tired of my life as a dude home. I'm just doing B flat, F B flat. Okay. Well, that's probably enough. But that's about the tempo. <clears throat> and it's just two chords. So here we go. <sighs> one, two, one, two, three, four. I was tired of my lady We've been together too long Like a worn out recording Of a favorite song So while she lay there sleeping I read the paper in bed And in the personal column There was this letter I read if you like pina coladas Getting caught in the rain If you're not into yoga If you have half a brain If you like making love at midnight In the dunes of the Cape I'm the love that you look for Write to me and escape didn't think about my lady I know that sounds kind of mean But me and my old lady Had fallen into the same old dull routine So I wrote to the paper Took out the personal ad Though I'm nobody's poet I thought it wasn't half bad Yes, I like pina coladas Getting caught in the rain I'm not much into health food I am into champagne I got to meet you by tomorrow noon Cut through all this red tape At a bar called O'Malley's Where we plan our escape so I waited with high hopes Then she walked in the place I 
knew her smile in an instant and knew the curve of her face it was my own lovely lady and she said oh it's you and we laughed for a moment and i said i never knew that you like pina coladas getting caught in the rain and the feel of the ocean and the taste of champagne if you like making love at midnight in the dunes of a cape you're the lady i looked for come with me and escape if you like pina coladas getting caught in the rain if you're not into yoga if you have half a brain if you like making love at midnight in the dunes of the cape you're the love that i looked for come with me and escape all right so that was very very <clears throat> repetitive f b flat f b flat all right who who hates b f yeah <laughs> i'm curious in the comments who hates b flat you know and uh, try it both ways because for some you know some like it this way right where you're you're really only borrowing the the, the bottom two strings the e and a string um top two strings depending on how how you've learned that um, closest to your feet the e and a you could borrow just those two and then use uh, your uh, middle and ring finger um, on the other strings or you could bar the entire first uh, first fret right and then add in your uh, your uh, G and C um, on the G string third fret on the C string second fret it's the same chord it's just depending on how your hand work how your fingers work some people like it one way some people like it the other way so enough about that it is Mimi you hate B flat all righty <clears throat> as we move on all right this is another one that's got a little funky spot in it so I want to talk about that instead of have it surprise you. So you can't, okay, so just to give you all an idea here, I'm going to do this real quick. So the cool thing about this app, and you know, I've shown this before, is um, I can very easily click on this little settings icon. I can change the, the key of the song. Boom, just like that. I was tired of my, wait, let me, we've been together too long, like a worn out recording of a favorite song. Okay, so I'm not going to sing the whole song. So I can sing my voice, I can hit that part fine. The problem is when you get to the, if you like making love at midnight, that's like the high point of the song, and I, I can't sing it can't sing it in C so I dropped it down to B flat and I was able to sing it so we've said that before and I'll say it again um, when you find a music online and you're like oh I found escape and it's in a key you're gonna find it in a key don't assume that that's like your key or that you have to sing it in that key um, you don't have to I mean you might have to use one of the websites that can transpose or use onsong that can you know transpose that but play it in a couple different keys and see what fits your voice better typically what you see people do is they find a, a version that's easy to play on the uke and then they try to sing with it and they may or may not be able to so don't do that all right let's come back here so in this song here, the, 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 in the chorus, um, the third line, uh, first line too, so I'm going to do it slow. 
so, sister, ain't that mister, there it goes, hey, so, sister, ain't that mister, mister on the radio. Now, there's other ways you could do that, right? I'm just showing you an easy way, the way I'm going to play it, kind of an easy way to keep up, is just two, two hits down on C, two hits down on G. So it's, hey, so, sister, ain't that Mr. Mr. on the radio, right? And that's the only part. And the third line, it does it again. Hey, so, sister, I don't want to miss a single thing you do tonight. All right, so that's it. It's going to be hard. You'll probably get to that. If you haven't played this song and aren't familiar with it, um, it might throw you, but that's what's happening in that section. All right, enough talking, right? Here we go. <clears throat> Island strum again. Um, I am doing, Ralph, I am doing an island strum on this. Um, seems to go well. Doesn't feel islandy because it's faster and... You're not accentuating like island uh, beats, um, but the down, down, up, up, down, up does work um, for this. Here we go. Let's just vamp on C. Here we go. Hey, 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 your lipstick stain. On the front lobe of my left side brain I knew I wouldn't forget you So I went and let you blow my mind Your sweet moonbeam The smell of you in every single dream I dream I knew when we collided You're the one I had decided one of my kind Hey soul sister Ain't that Mr. Mr. On the radio Stereo The way you move ain't fair you know Hey soul sister I don't want to miss A single thing you do Tonight Hey Hey Just in time I'm so glad you have a one-track mind like me You gave my love direction Game show love connection I can't deny I'm so obsessed My heart is bound to beat right out of my untrimmed chest I believe in you like a virgin, you're Madonna I'm always gonna wanna blow your mind Hey, so sister, ain't that Mr. Mr. on the radio Stereo, the way you move ain't fair, you know Hey, so sister, I don't wanna miss a single thing you do Tonight Hey, 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 just in time, I'm so glad you have a one-track mind like me, gave my love direction, game show love connection, we can deny, I'm so obsessed. My heart is bound to beat right out of my untrimmed chest I believe in you like a virgin, you're Madonna I'm always gonna wanna blow your mind Hey, so sister, ain't that Mr. Mister on the radio? Stereo, the way you move ain't fair, you know Hey, so sister, I don't wanna miss a single thing you 
Tonight of the week, can cut a rug. Watching you is the only drug I need. You're so gangster, I'm so thug. You're the only one I'm dreaming of. You see, I can be myself now, finally. In fact, there's nothing I can't be. I want the world to see that you'll be with me. I know that's a hard part right there. <laughs> hey, so sister, ain't that Mr. Mister on the radio? Stereo, the way you move ain't fair, you know. Hey, so sister, I don't want to miss a single thing you do tonight. Hey, so sister, I don't want to miss a single thing you do. that a little fast? That's how it goes in my head, but I might have played that a little fast. Tonight just sing, you ever have one of those days you're just slightly off? I just feel slightly off. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I do not know why. All right, so we talked about um, easier songs and more complicated songs. This, I know you're looking at gasping. Um, but before you gasp and, and fall faint, just go through those. You know C, you probably know E7, E minor. Skip over that uh, F sharp demented um, 7. Demented 7. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, but most of these, you got a B7 in there, but most of those are chords you know. I'm still laughing that I said demented. So I watched, uh, I think I was watching, it's uh, Play for Change. If you ever seen those videos on YouTube, um, it starts out where Ringo Starr is making a call um, and he says, what key, it's in, what key is it in? And he said, F demented. So um, I think that's stuck in my head, but F sharp diminished seven. Yes. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So I have a neighbor, his name's, and then we'll sing, I promise. We'll play. I have a neighbor who lives four or five houses away, Tom Morrissey. I've said this before. So we'll get together some weekends or, or some evenings and play. Um, it's just a great guy. Um, but he has this knack for adding chords to songs. So he, he will take a four chord song and he'll like triple it. And he'll give, he'll send me an unsung the, the song sheet, and then I'll look at it. And I'll be, what happened to the song? So he's very good with uh, doing that. That's his, that's his superpower. Um, adding chords to songs. So Tom, kudos, God bless you. I I, uh, I wish I had that skill. All right, let me talk about this real quick, just while people we're losing people. Um, so let me talk about this while we've still got people. So here we go. Collaboration promo. So next week, we are going to have a special. It's going to be a play along. Same time. Still on Wednesday. And watch this. This is kind of weird. I did this last week. Hey, I, it's a live collaboration. Um, and what we're going to do, what we've been doing for several months, because these things take time, all the coordination... Um, is we've got, if you look at that picture, um, you might see people you know, it might be you. Um, but we have built 10 collaborations, and they're songs that are done um, with the people who watch the show. So it's a lot of fun. And what we're going to do is play those next week, and that's the music for next week. We'll still have scrolling chords and lyrics, um, but we will have that as the music. So we did this once uh, back in, at the end of March. And we had a big crowd. It was our a one-year anniversary. And we are going to do it again. So tell your friends. 
tell your family members to sign on and they can see you take part in collaborations. It really is a lot of fun. If you look at like, actually I'm going to remove myself and go back to that square. So if you look at that one, it's really cool because these are, we've got people that watch this um, all over the U.S. and in different parts of the world. So we actually have, uh, you know, the top middle square, in the very middle, the top middle square um, where that gentleman is wearing glasses. He's a violinist that lives in town here in Orlando. Um, there's two squares with the uh, uh, young lady um, from Australia. And she sings and she does percussions. Um, we have a bass player in there. His name is Tony, a good friend of mine. So it's really cool that, that we've put all these together. So some of them have just two people or three or four or five and or more. So it's a lot of fun. We're going to have one that has nine, nine people in it. So it's going to be cool. So uh, check it out. Mark your calendar. It really is. It's going to be fun. A lot of work has gone into this. Um, but still, it's normal play along. You'll still have chords and lyrics. And you'll just have uh, songs that are a collaboration rather than me. Which you, which, which you might. You might appreciate. Um, all right, so let's uh, let's go back to this song. So a lot of chords in this song, um, but other than that, F sharp diminished seven. Um, it's uh, pretty straightforward. So the intro, we'll just do the intro real quick. time is it oh it's already 8 12 we got to get moving um all right so that's the slow version of that um all right and now we're just going to start the song all right here we go one a two a one two three four Craig. Hey, Rose. Yes, you can. It'll be uh, available for rewatch in like two minutes after it ends, Rose. They're pretty fast about that. All right. So that's a crazy song. A lot of chords and fast chord changes. So if you want to, if you're getting to the point where you want to challenge yourself, I think that's a good challenge yourself song. Um... Start slow, as we said. 
Start slow. Don't try to do it full speed. If you're playing chords, you don't know. Um, you don't want to get discouraged. You want to give yourself confidence and you want to feel good about, yeah, I got it. Slow. Now let me go a little faster. Let me put the chords of this up. So there's the chords. So nice slow song, little Jimmy Buffett. Um, Susan, a couple times on that, I did. I cheated a little bit. You got really good eyes. Um, Susan does. I tried most of the time to play it the right way, and a few times I just didn't make it there in time. And I played sort of a... I missed my ring finger, I think, once or twice. And it sounds really close, so... All right, here we go. Little Jimmy Buffett. But man, Susan, you are... That's impressive. You either have really good eyes or you've got this on a big screen. <laughs> I'm just laughing at comments. All right, here we go. As the son of a son of a sailor, I went out on a sea for adventure, expanding the view of a captain and crew like a man just released from indenture. As a dreamer of dreams and a traveling man, I have chalked up many a mind. Read dozens of books about heroes and crooks, and I learned much from both of their style. Son of a son, son of a son, son of a son of a sailor, son of a gun, blow the last time. Step ahead of a jailer. Now in the near future, southeast of disorder, you can shake the hand of a mango man as he greets you at the border. And the lady she hails from Trinidad, islands of the spices. enjoyable. All right, so we're going to do Count on Me. 
Um, and we are going to do one second. I'm going to turn some drums on. So I'm going to turn this for what minute? switch the drum machine so if you've never been here before and wondered why I disappeared that is why all right so let me throw some head little headphones in and we will start some drums so a little fast but not insane Uh, let me get this. We're not going to start yet. All right, something like that. what we're going for. Uh, again, that's just an island strum, just played a little differently, but it's the same, uh, the same down, down, up, up, down, up. All right, you ready? One, two, a one, two, three, four. We're going to vamp on C for just a minute, and then we'll start in. Ready? If you ever find yourself stuck in the middle of the sea I'll sail the world to find you There we go If you ever find yourself lost in the dark and you can't see I'll be the light to guide you Find out what we're made of
All right. The songs were good tonight. <laughs> oh, I know. I'm hard on myself. It was just, yeah, a little off. But I hope you had fun. Um, thanks again to Clark Holmes um, for, for doing that mini tutorial. And just a reminder, you really will learn a lot. So July 7th, he will be on. So we have this week. Um, well, this week's over. Um, next week is the, uh, the collaboration version. Uh, after that is just a normal play along. And then after that is, uh, is Clark Holmes. So that's awesome. We also have Lisa Webb coming up soon. Um, and that's going to be cool because Lisa has some crazy talent. Um, but really, glad you were here. Um, if you were new, we do this every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern. So we hope you come back. And I think that is all I've got. I made all the pr appropriate announcements. I think we're good. So y'all, I really appreciate you being here and I hope it's fun and I hope it's time well spent for you. And I'm just glad that you've got a chance to chat with people and uh, just make acquaintances in the chat. Um, I've been chatting with a few people soon and we realize we're gonna be at the, the tea bug um, the little ukulele festival in St. Pete in November. So some people I've been talking to for, you know, a long time, months um, on Wednesday nights. Uh, it's going to be cool because finally going to get to meet um, some of those people. So take care. Have a great week. And we will see you next week, hopefully at 7 p.m. Eastern. All right, y'all have a good night. Have a good week. See you, see you soon. Bye. Ukulele Jam!